whatever the source of the hacks, what was revealed by all indications was the truth, and the truth about the Democratic Party uh, oh. and about Hillary Clinton and her top staffers. The truth, once revealed, convinced Americans that the more they knew about them, the less they liked her, the less they, they trusted them. David? You, you know, I pity you, Steve, to have to defend Donald Trump on this matter. You know, he said he has said so many things that are just outright false. Not that he's a skeptic. That's a polite way of putting it. He said weeks ago that this wasn't an issue before the election. No one knew about this before the election. Why are we raising this issue now? When, in fact, the ONDI and DHS, you can look up those initials if you don't know what they are, had put out a David, statement David, on October. Don't, don't on October. Talk I didn't interrupt you. I did not interrupt you. I did not interrupt you. Here. I did not interrupt you. Me. To me that I way. did not you. interrupt you. I know exactly what they are. I did Gentlemen, not interrupt you. We're going to end this right now if you can't be respectful to one another. David? I've been put out, they put out a statement on October 7th outlying this issue. So he just sort of made it up that this was a post election issue. He has said that Julian Assange knows more than the intelligence community does. Well, what? He hasn't proven that. He said that he knew something special about the hacking that he would tell us this past Tuesday and Wednesday. He didn't do that either. He has been spinning or fabricating and saying false and misleading statements on this issue for months. No. And it all ties what's, what's, into the mystifying, Steve? this mystifying approach he has towards Russia and Putin and trying to dismiss this What's false this and misleading is what the mainstream media has been saying for weeks, which is that the election was hacked. And that's no. simply not no. true. Excuse the me. DNC oh. was Excuse hacked. Me. And Excuse the majority me, in polls, the majority Steve. of Democratic voters believe that actual Steve? vote tallies were manipulated by Russia. Steve. That's a fact. Steve? You got poll. I'm not going to let you make a generalization about the media because here we are, you and I. I'm not making a generalization about anything. I'm not saying that the results, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not saying that the election would have been different had the hacking not have happened. But in terms of this special information that Donald Trump has, what is it? I don't know, clearly, and nobody knows. Uh, I, I, <laughs> yeah. I believe that after this briefing exist. he received today, I think all of us are going to know a lot more, as I mentioned before, probably today, if not today, than in coming days. And this is, I think, the most important thing for Americans. The, the election is over. The election was not hacked. The election was fair and free. Going forward, America can't be hacked, clearly. We can't be hacked by China. We've been a victim of Chinese hacking for years. I think Donald Trump will take an incredibly aggressive approach at defending America and, when necessary, retaliating wherever hacks come from. <laughs>